Welcome to Rampocalypse Talks Fear the Walking Dead. I'm Justin. Hey, I'm Kelly, and together we are the greatest Fear the Walking Dead mother and son review duo ever. Yes, on the face of the zombie apocalypse planet. Yes. And uh, in this episode, we are going to be discussing Season 2, Episode 3, Ouroboros. And in this episode, Madison confronts Strand about his undisclosed destination, that rat bastard. Nick, Alicia, and others go <laughs> off to inspect a plane crash site. So, Fear the Walking Dead, mixed reviews thus far on Season 2, how do you feel about episode three? I finally feel good about an episode. This one I liked. I enjoyed it. I may actually watch the next one. I feel the exact same way. I feel like the episode was a home run for Fear of the Walking Dead, especially when you compare it to the last two. It's lots of zombie action, uh, lots of intense situations. So, so glad to say that I enjoyed myself when I watched an episode of Fear of the Walking Dead. That feels good. It really does feel good. It does. It feels great. I'm really happy, not only for us, but I'm I'm happy for the cast as well. Because yeah. a lot of times, you know, they probably get some undeserved shit talking on Twitter and social media and everything. I'm like, they're just they're just doing what what they got to do with what they're given. You know, they're just working with what they're given. So really glad. Let's get into our top three moments from this episode, and I will start it off the bat with number three because I absolutely loved the introduction of Alex slash Charlie slash whatever the hell her <laughs> name is on this show. Um, the girl from Flight 462. We finally get this crossover. We saw it from last season when Nick sees the, the airplane come across and you know that it's coming because we know we get these webisodes. So it was really cool to see her just myrtleizing the shit out of everybody on that raft to protect Jake. Yeah. Uh, she's a very, very strong character, and I'm hoping, even though we saw her get cut loose in the middle of the ocean, that that's not the last that we see of her on Fear the Walking Dead. I like her a lot. I do, too. I think uh, I'm with you. Super strong character. Uh, we need Alex back. We need Jake for whatever reason. I don't know what he's going to do on the show at this point, because he's uh, basically half burned. Yeah. But Oh, God. He'd be really scary. He would be scary. So uh, there you go. And I'll he, take it. He seems to bring out all the protective instincts in Alex. So that's always good. Our number two, Joe's Crab Shack Walker. I <laughs> loved this walker. It was so awesome. The uh, walker being stuck in the sand. The crabs were eating the walker. The walker was eating the crabs. It was super creepy. And I loved it. It was awesome. Uh, it's something that we we have never seen that I can recall on The Walking Dead. The fact that these zombies are gross. They got blood and guts and everything nasty hanging out of them, and they're really slow. I mean, we've seen walkers in The Walking Dead that are attached to trees, but we've never seen animals or anything eating at them that I can recall. No. So Crab Zombie Man was badass. I, I would put him in the zombie hall of fame because he was he was awesome i <laughs> and I he love very that. original very original yeah very original and led to a very very tense moment with nick so that was awesome to see so our number one favorite moment from the episode nick one of our favorite characters comes to save the day he takes out that walker that was about to get alicia and her sexy tube top that she had on. Oh my on. god. I knew I, you were going to have to mention I couldn't let that. it go. Couldn't let it go. It was amazing. Thank you so much wardrobe designers because Alicia, she's super smoking hot and uh, I'm so glad that her brother came to save the day. Hopefully they don't have some Jamie Lannister and Cersei moments in the future because that would get really awkward and creepy <laughs> because they did look longingly into each other's eyes whenever they he, you know, he saved her. They did. They did. And I I felt a little strange about it, but then I realized, no, this is this is not Game of Thrones and so it, it shouldn't it shouldn't happen. So <laughs> It shouldn't feel weird, but it feels weird every time now because uh They ruined it for us. Yeah, they did. They ruined it for us. But it was an awesome moment. I know you loved it because of the the whole blood gut scene. I liked that Nick discovered it by accident that being covered in blood and guts of walkers makes you camouflaged. And plus, I thought he looked really hot with blood all over his face, which is 
scary to say about me. It is very scary to say. I I do say that he looked badass. He looked yeah. definitively awesome in that moment when he came in to save the day with the blood. Love Nick. I'm so glad that he got to be a badass in this episode. It was really cool. Uh, so overall, we like to give our review scores out of bacon because it's our favorite food. It's amazing. Yes. So how many bacons out of five would you give this week's Fear the Walking Dead? Okay, and again, I am... I'm going to grade this on a scale just based on other Fear the Walking Dead episodes. That's fair. Okay, so this is a four out of five bacons for me. That's how much I liked it. Man, that is impressive. You left a little bit of room for an extra bacon, you know, just in case that it gets better, which, you know, I agree with. Uh, I'm going to go with three out of five bacons for this episode. Still good. It was still great. It was a vast improvement over the last couple of weeks episodes which is really great i cannot wait to see what happens next week we see in the teaser trailer that shit goes down between strand and the rest of the group which is to be expected after he cut alex loose that was a dick move on his part not cool strand (laughs) not cool at all well i think that's it that's our thoughts on fear the walking dead really cool episode we want to know your thoughts so leave them in the comment box down below Did you love this episode of Fear the Walking Dead? What was your favorite moment? Let us know all those thoughts. We'll be back next week to recap and give you our top three moments from Fear the Walking Dead. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.